what would you say is like the most like toxic part about being a stand-up comedian that like you know it's just um it kind of just bothers you that mm. you, you wish could be better um oh there's quite a lot <laughs> <laughs> load them all up <laughs> um the most toxic thing and like it could be a you know maybe like from your own experience or just in general how people view it i think uh certain promoters can be problematic in terms of fucking around with money or like pulling you off of gigs and then putting you on and changing oh. things around and like because we don't have a union mm. as such um there's almost nowhere to go there's nowhere to get help or support from so for me i've had to navigate my way through this industry um being quite aggressive not aggressive in like not aggressive but like strong you know i've had to think like a bloke and act like a bloke and you know i think the older you get i'd want to be softer and i want to be treated softer um but i just don't, uh, it is it's a man's world definitely and and things have changed but only a little bit and um i think i'd love to see it change even more in terms of just people getting respected a bit more and especially women um like they used to say like if you went on in the middle it was like the girly spot because it was like an easy spot and it's like why are we still using these terms man fucking hell like i've seen f amazing female headliners absolutely rip the roof off and openers and mcs and um so yeah it'd be nice to change the conversations a bit um money shit money's fucking shit um i think we should definitely be paid more um and respected more i don't think comedians are respected especially certain gigs where you turn up and you're not even offered a fucking drink i think it's disgusting you know what i mean <laughs> um because yeah you might only be there for like 20 minutes but what you're paying for is the years and years and years of me traveling up and down the country, writing material, practicing, talking to the wall and like going through my material, dying on my ass, going to these gigs. Like that's, you're, you're paying for my time. Mm. So it's like, oh, I can only offer you 150 bucks. Get fucked in it. You know what I mean? So that's, I think that's quite toxic. People don't really understand that. And, and also we're a business, you know? Um, and the people as well, people are quite toxic, but it's a very ego driven um, industry, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you, what do you think is the most toxic part? No, I, I, a lot, a lot of things you're saying I, I, in my head, like I've, like I've seen this so many times. I've heard it so many times. Mm. Like, yeah, same thing. Like, uh, you were talking about the, um, uh, wanting to, to be softer. You, you said, mm. um, as you, as your career progresses, are you talking about like you as a woman or like as a comedian? Both. You want, cause you want to be more in like a feminine energy you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And just like not having to fucking be all this like laddie, like, right, you know yeah, what I mean? Uh, that fucking sort of the stuff. boys, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, because I've noticed women that are like really girly or, you know, a bit soft or don't really speak up for themselves as much as they should or a bit shy or whatever. You get treated like shit, man. Like, get treated like absolute fucking shit. And I've not experienced their sexism as bad as them because I do stick up for myself. But yeah, it's, it's, if I was that sort of girl, I've heard some terrible stories, you know what I mean? People not being paid, um, you know, not be, being a, um, making sure they get home safely, things like that. Um, you know, sexual, being in, inappropriate, uh, saying inappropriate stuff. And um, yeah, man, it's, yeah. Like it's, it's, it's no good, you know, I know. what I mean? I, 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 that's, a, that's the thing too, I've seen a lot of that happen as well, or heard a lot, a lot about that stuff happening too with, with women in, in comedy. Um, and yeah, I agree. Like there are fucking really sick female headliners or hosts, mm. but I, I actually haven't heard that the middle term, the middling term that you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know if it's just a UK thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah they Is that a common the, thing? The girly spot. Yeah. The yeah. girly spot? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Well, I fucking love the girly spot. Oh, mate. Even <laughs> if I favorite. was like super <laughs> famous headliner, I, I would middle. always request <laughs> yeah. to go on in the middle. Yeah. It's the, what, who wouldn't want it's an easy peak. gig yeah, I know. and be able to fuck off home That's afterwards? It. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. No, I love that spot. <laughs> fuck that, bro. Yeah. I'm a little bitch, I guess. No, I think I think in terms of the pay obviously i get it um but also it's like i don't know i don't know about in uk but in canada just in general they don't they don't give a fuck about the arts at all mm. they don't fund anything mm. with the arts music fucking comedy acting nothing like they don't really care about that stuff but 
I think because there is no union, like the, the, like the comedians themselves need to fucking value themselves better. Yeah, yeah. Because no one fucking values themselves mm -hmm. high enough. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that a lot in the past few years just from like doing stuff with brands online. And we realized like, oh, fuck, man, there's so many comedians out there who don't know how to value themselves. Yeah. They're really like low balling their own shit. Yeah. And, like you're, you're self-sabotaging. Mm -hmm. So that's a big part of it, too, is not knowing how much you deserve to be paid. Yeah. And the, like you said, even even a lot of the guys, a lot of the any comedian like they, they don't speak up for themselves mm. including myself like i've been there myself too mm. because it, you also it's tough because you're in a people pleasing business mm. and you want to please everyone right mm. so you also don't want to speak your mind and like come get rub, rubbed off the wrong way yeah or like you know like someone might take something you said like the wrong way and now you're like exiled from doing these shows mm. and now you're gonna suck dick for spots i'm like well the, of course everyone's fragile and no one's getting paid because mm. no one knows what the fuck's going on. Everyone's yeah. insecure, anxiety ridden, mental, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like, I, I wish we had fucking therapists, you know what I'm saying? I wish we had life coaches in the yeah. comedy. That'd be, you know how sick that would be? Yeah, but then there'd <laughs> yeah. be no comedians, yeah. it? Like, we need, we need to be a bit fucked as well. Well, I mean, at least with like business shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No one's business minded. Yeah. That's the thing.